let's uh, apply substitution. Two, yeah, integral from zero to one, integral from zero to one minus y of root x plus y times quantity y minus two x squared dx dy using the transformation um, u equals y minus 2x and v is equal to x plus y. All right, so let's get an understanding of the region that the integral is currently written in. So um, in the xy plane, we're looking at just staring at the integral. x should be between 0 and 1 minus y. And y should be between 0 and 1. So let's understand that and draw a picture of the region. So let's see, x between 0 there and then 1 minus y. So x equals 1 minus y would be this line here. Um, 1, 1. Oh, and if y only goes from 0 to 1, then it's this region here. Yeah. So this shaded in rectangle is r. And this line here is x plus y is equal to 1. Now let's take this, the transformation that we're given. u equals y minus 2x and v is equal to x plus y. So take this 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 transformation here and let us go ahead and solve for for x and for y in these. So um, there's a couple ways to do this, but I think the easiest thing to do would be to take um, the first equation, uh, leave it alone, u equals negative 2x plus y, so just swap the order of the terms. For the, uh, for the next equation, I'm just going to try it this way, is to multiply both sides by 2. And you have 2v is equal to 2x plus 2y. So um, why do that? Then if we add the two equations together, we'll have u plus 2v is equal to 3y. And to solve for y here, we'll have y is equal to uh, 1 third u plus 2 thirds v. Now, if we take the original equation that was here, u is equal to negative 2x plus y, and we took the original equation here, v is equal to x plus y. Now, uh, we already have y, so how can we get um, x? Well, if we subtract these two equations from each other, then the y's go away, so we'll have an equation that no longer has y, and that will be good. So let's subtract and have u minus v is equal to, see, negative 2x minus x will be uh, minus 3x, and then, well, y minus y is gone. So we'll then, dividing both sides by um, negative 3, we'll have negative 1 third u plus 1 third v is equal to x. Great. So we have um, formulas for x and for, let's make that a little cleaner here. We have a formula for x and a formula for y in terms of u and v. So we can compute the Jacobian. So derivative, partial derivative of x and y with respect to u and v. All right. So staring at the x formula, um, the partial derivatives, oh, this is nice. OK, negative 1 third, positive 1 third. And then staring at the y formula, the partial derivatives with respect to u and v would be 1 third and 2 thirds. And then uh, let's compute You know, this times that. Right? So computing a 2 by 2 determinant, negative 1 third times positive 2 thirds, then minus 1 third times 1 third, 1 third times 1 third. So negative 2 ninths minus 2 more ninths, so equals uh, sorry, not, not, oh, let's try that again here. So negative 2 ninths minus another ninth is equal to negative 3 ninths, or in other words, negative 1 third. Okay, now we should describe the region S. Okay, so this will be in the UV plane. So the question becomes, what are the three equations 
um, that we have here turn into when we draw on the UV plane, right? So there's there's three equations here. First of all, there's the equation um, x plus y equals one, right? And then there's the equation y equals zero, and there's the equation x equals zero. So let's write those three pieces down here, right? So there's um, there's the boundary piece x plus y equals one. There's a boundary piece. x equals 0. Yeah, that's just the y-axis there. And then there's eventually the boundary piece. y is equal to 0, because that's the x-axis. So those three, equ the equations of these three lines makes um, the, the, the boundary, you know, the, that's what, that's the, where the shading for the right triangle here stops. Okay, so then let's look at this equation x plus y equals 1. And go ahead and substitute as we just found what x and y were. Yeah, and we'll have, let's see, negative one third u plus one third v, then this plus sign here, and then we'll copy what y was. So one third u, one third u uh, plus two thirds v is equal to one. So those will cancel. One third v plus two thirds v, the three thirds v. So we'll have here v is equal to one. That's how that will translate. The boundary piece where x is equal to zero. Well, x was right over here, right? So we'll have negative one third u plus one third v is equal to zero. And if we um, add one third u to both sides and multiply both sides by Three will just end up with u is equal to v. For the last equation, um, y equals zero, so we will copy this over. Yeah, and we've got one third u plus two thirds v is equal to copy the zero here on the right side. Um, multiply both sides by three u plus two v is equal to zero. Um, and we could write this as v is equal to negative one half u, for, in, for instance. So let's draw a picture of this, of these three equations. So v equals one, u equals v, and v equals negative one half u. So here it is in the u v plane. Yeah, the equation v equals one is nice, you know, nice little horizontal line. No, no big deal there. u equals v. Okay, that's this 45 degree, well, let's just draw that a little better. So it should be that. There's u is, yeah, let's just go ahead and label these. Yeah, that's u is equal to v. This one was v is equal to one. We also have a uh, slope negative one half. So something, it's, it's more shallow, but something like this then, right? So maybe just to try to emphasize this, why don't we, Let's draw this a little further out like that so that we have more room to draw in. Oh, try that again. We'll start at the origin and go back this way. Okay, sorry, that's supposed to be a straight line. V is equal to uh, negative one half U. So the region that's bounded by these three lines is, should, be, should be this, right? So this is our picture. What's shaded there is a picture of the region S. Okay, so um, how do we describe this region here, S? Um, so this would be the set of points in UV, in the UV plane, which satisfy, as we see here, um, it looks easiest to set up where V is bound between two constants, 0 and 1. Yeah, so yeah, V between 0 and 1. And we'll take it the value, look at the value of U. So for a fixed value of v, yeah, maybe we'll shade this in here in another color. So for a fixed value of v, like right there, the lowest u value is over here, right? So it's given by u is equal to negative 2v. u is equal to negative 2v. And then the larger value, uh, go back to red here, is given by right here. 
and the value of u matches v, so we'll have just here a v right there. Okay, so let's uh, rewrite the original integral from 0 to 1. Integral 0 to 1 minus y of root x plus y times quantity y minus 2x squared dx dy. So if we write this um, integral sign and then integral sign, we're going to write this as a du dv, noting that the u uh, we have from right over here goes from negative 2v to positive v, and then v there goes from 0 to 1 integral from 0 to 1 for the outside. Then we need to rewrite um, this part right here. Yeah, We need to rewrite the function that we were integrating. Here, really all it is is a bunch of replacements. So make any replacement that you can based on any of the equations that were written back here or even provided up there. So for instance, we were told originally in the question that v is equal to x plus y. So take a look down here, and the first part of what's in green right here is root x plus y. So we could just write that as a root v. So maybe just as a quick comment, we'll just write here just as a reminder that v was equal to x plus y. Just replace in any which way which is easiest. Now the next part, it's a little harder to deal with because you have y minus 2x squared, and you might look back and go, Oh, well, we had y minus 2x for u, but that's not going to count for the square. But good thing we solved for x and y right here and right there. So let me just maybe copy-paste those, see if those will copy-paste. Let me do a little erasing first. So let's, let me just, uh, let me just copy, select, copy, paste them down here just for reference. How about just right, right there? Hopefully they won't run into anything here. Okay, so we've got, drew, drew that left parenthesis, there's a y here. We can replace that y with one third u uh, plus two thirds v, and then there's a minus, and then there's, so that was that minus, then there's a two, then x squared. Well, x is negative one third u plus one third v, Okay, squared, yeah? So the part that is here in green, in the green box here, has the same value as what's in the green box there. It's just in terms of new variables, that's all, but the same value. Then finally, um, dx dy is going to be something times du dv, and that something extra that we're missing right there, that is, let's scroll back up. Did we compute a Jacobian? Oh yeah, here it is, negative one-third. So let's stick a negative one-third. I don't want it to look like minus accidentally, so how about we stick that in parentheses. Negative one-third times du dv, so what's in the blue box? Negative one-third du dv uh, is what replaces dx dy. Okay, so just as a reminder, maybe we'll just write here that um, this part here, the negative one-third, that came from the Jacobian.